Staying up. I'm wildin' out. I'm leaning in. I'm hey, what's up, guys? This is our first video after MWC 2015. I hope you liked all our MWC coverage. Uh, we uh, tried to cover as many gadgets as we could. I think we made about 52 videos. That's incredible. And uh, a lot of those are exclusive hands-on videos. Uh, you might want to check out the playlist called MWC 2015. However, today uh, we have the Asus EE eBook uh, X205TA. Now this is the latest budget uh, Windows 8.1 Ultrabook from Asus, an 11.6 inch diagonal Ultrabook. And it cost about 15,000 here in India. Uh, 11.6 it's modestly uh, powered has a quad core um, you know Intel Bay Trail CPU only has 2 GB of RAM and uh, you get about 32 GB of internal memory here however uh, it can uh, read SD card or micro SD card and adapters and stuff um, it comes in a um, fairly rugged box and you don't get many accessories except the charger here and the pin is not exactly a micro USB uh, pin so it goes in here and it's kind of more like squarish and not exactly uh, you know micro USB so you cannot use your uh, cell phone battery or uh, cell phone charger to um, power this up now the USB of this device as far as Asus promises is the very long battery life they promises about 12 hours of web browsing time, about uh, 13 hours of um, audio time and about 11 hours of video time uh, doing only that particular thing continuously. Um, we're going to tell you about uh, the actual uh, battery life that we've experienced but before that let's go ahead and check out the hardware ones. So you see uh, it has a nice rubber coating on the front as well as on the back the whole body has the same uh, you know rubber coating here however it's it's not very reflective because it's a rubber coating but you can see it attracts lots and lots of fingerprint both on the front as well as on the back here it's just under a kilo so well it's it's decently uh, heavy uh, but it also I mean it's an ultra book so it comes with a keyboard so combining with a keyboard less than a kilo I think it's still very acceptable you have uh, just over 17 mm of uh, thickness here which is also quite decent and you see the Asus logo out here they're trying to give a premium look here despite of being an all plastic body and it actually feels plasticky however this curves and contours and all give the device just about a playful look and it actually makes it appear thinner than it actually might be you do not have much on the back here mm -hmm. this side you have, uh, you can see, um, two USB 2.0 port. They are not uh, USB 3.0 port, by the way. On the front, you have some indicators, lights. Plus, you also have the speakers situated here, which are facing towards the front on this side. Here you have, uh, let's see, a micro, USB, a micro SD card slot actually there. So I was wrong, it does not take SD card, it only take uh, a micro SD card. And, uh, you have a micro HDMI port and then your 3.5mm jack and then the charger that we've shown you before. On the back side you have the three legs, uh, four legs sorry, rubber ones. They are very, very, uh, you know, well positioned and they actually held the laptop pretty tight when you're walking on it. So the hardware, um, the hard disk and RAMs are not immediately removable. You have to open this whole housing, everything, and go inside. And I suspect the RAM and all would be soldered. Also, I'm not hundred percent sure. So that's the screen we have here. It feels very plasticky. However, that's a budget um, laptop, so it's fine. You have VGA front camera here, which uh, would not be of much use when you do a uh, you know, high quality video calling. However, um, it still is okay to recognize your face, I guess. I have some indicators and stuff. And then the keyboard. I absolutely love the keyboard. It uh, stresses uh, all the way to the left and the right. And that gives it actually place to 
um, have as many keys as possible but also it uh, actually you know places large enough gap between the keys so that I never actually felt like I had to cramp my fingers into type here it almost feels like a good enough um, you know I mean a, a large enough keyboard I, I typed here a lot and at no point of time I could actually feel uh, it as a crammed keyboard it also has lots and lots of keyboards and all uh, all the permutations and combinations of keys to uh, initiate a particular transaction are mostly the usual ones so you do not have to um, you know uh, you, you do not have to um, adapt to this particular new way of um, doing a transaction on this keyboard you have the power button here and then there you see also the trackpad here is very very sensitive what asus actually says that it borrows the smartphone experience into the trackpad which uh, well is it's a tall cream really uh, but still i see it's very very um, sensitive the mouse keys are properly demarcated yeah and also it, the gestures and everything are very smooth and very very um, intuitive and they work every time so overall it's a nice little plasticky body that you can um, you know, carry along even in the place of your ipad because it's not much bigger than the ipad so it will take very less space on your back so uh, a good enough body even i think decently weight body just under one kilo let's look at the display once now the display has just over hd resolution 11.6 inch diagonal it's not a touch screen mind you so we have a color card uh, this is well a digital screen so obviously you need to um, uh, I mean, you know calibrate it properly however in the default calibration and uh, the default brightness and contrast settings that's how the color card looks and I see that this part is slightly uh, more faded than what it actually is also um, this and this part so basically the pinkish um, you know around the pinkish color palette it actually shows uh, lower uh, saturation than it should be uh, other than that you also see there are slight pixelations uh, over here and also the blacks are not exactly very very dark but uh, I think more or less the brightness is just about decent of the screen so HD resolution it's, it's pretty good for an 11.5 uh, 11.6 11 inch screen and also uh, that comes under 15,000 We'll try play a test video here to see how the sound output and the video uh, generally is. It does not have very good uh, air viewing angle. You can still see from here. You, got, did you, see that? you can see the color like, changes. Why? See the color changes badly. So it does not have a very good viewing angle. However, the sound output is good and even if you close this, there won't be any problem with the sound output because the sound, the speakers are actually situated here. So let's say if you only want to uh, you know, listen to music or only want to listen to an audio book and you do not necessarily need to keep the display open, you can just close it and then listen to it just like this. You're saving a lot of energy and battery life as well. You see the colors are not exactly uh, I mean the popping out kinds. Yeah, so that's about the video and our color card test. Next, we wanted to show you the quick uh, specs of this one. You see, that's an Intel Atom uh, CPU Z3735 F. It clocks at 1.33 GHz, so fairly, um, you know, modest chipset and modest CPU there. Only 2 GB of RAM, 32-bit uh, Windows 8.1 version, no pen or touch input, and it's a single language version, Windows 8.1. So you cannot add this PC to um, other domains as well, and there are a lot of other restrictions 
this comes with uh, the single language version and we also did some benchmark test and I'm going to show you so Nova Bench is one of the best free benchmark tests and it kind of uh, does an overall um, stress test of your system so you see the score is 335 where um, the RAM it scores just about 107 the CPU score is 198 graphic test 25 and hardware is 5 when I compare these to some of the top scores you see some of the top scores are like 3572 so these are uh, about machines um, user scores and then if you go to top CPU you see the top CPUs are mostly uh, core i7 then Xeons and stuff so um, much lower than average performance on this but then you do not expect that from uh, you know uh, an ultra book of only 15k so this is mostly uh, aimed at let's say a journalist or let's say a writer who wants to you know jot down who wants to write mails and other stuff and um, you know write stories let's say you're um, at a launch and you quickly want uh, want to write a story about the newly launched product um, you're going on an air um, airplane and you have you know six hours to skill so you just want to finish that book or, um, or just about you know consuming um, content media like uh, audio video or uh, you just want to browse through your photos and stuff and also all of the um, business needs mainly mailing and excel transactions and all of those um, this would be a great great tool but not exactly for those people who let's say want to do a video editing who want to create 3d effects and all those stuff because the CPU is uh, not exactly equipped to handle that uh, strenuous uh, the tasks so um, also it's it's not a great gaming device you cannot play very high demanding uh, games here because nowadays the games actually ask for a lot more than this one so this is a carry everywhere very mobile friendly um, ultrabook that you can just use for basic day-to-day -day tasks but not for a very heavy creative tasks so that's guys the uh, asus ebook x205 th available for about 15,000, and i really love this book uh, because you know um one it comes with a windows 8.1 we tested the battery and we did a mixture of um testing because you do not actually use web all the time or audio all the time or video all the time so do a mixture of them all and it still give uh, about 10 hours of battery life you're just under 10 hours of battery life which is great this will take you through the whole day so that's one of the great thing about this product just under one kilo with the keyboard and a brilliant keyboard that's another plus here the display is one of the um, negatives of this device but again the aggressive pricing that's kind of overshadows that a bit yeah so it's very easily available uh, asus x205t uh, a very good decent budget device thank you